Okay, let's find the angle in this triangle using the tangent function. So this is basically uh, uh, just basic right angle trigonometry. So if you haven't studied trigonometry yet, uh, I would definitely invite you to stick around and learn a little bit about it. It's not that difficult. I think that uh, trigonometry and all these functions and stuff, all this notation certainly looks mysterious and could be uh, a little intimidating, but it doesn't have to be that way at all. You just need someone to explain to you what this is all about. And that's what I'm going to be doing. So um, anyways, uh, we're going to get into all about the tangent function in this particular problem in just one second. But first, let me go ahead and introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. And over several years, I've constructed uh, what I like to believe is one of the most robust, comprehensive, online, uh, video-based math help programs there is. So if you need to take a full uh, math course, or if you're in a math course and you need, uh, need help with additional instruction, and you want to see how thousands of problems are solved and see that via video, because it's nothing worse than just having a basic answer key. You know, I'm sure we all, have all suffered through that, right? Like, hey, do this problem, and then here's the answer. Uh, but there's no explanation on how to get the answer. Well, in my program, I go through all the problems, video-based, step-by-step, et cetera. But I'm going to leave a link to that in the description of this video. And uh, if you've been following me on YouTube, uh, uh, first of all, if you haven't been, I hope you will uh, consider subscribing. But um, as a math teacher, I'm a gigantic stickler on notes. Okay, I emphasize this all the time because if you want to have a good prediction or indicator how well you're going to do in math, all you have to do is look at your notes. Okay, And I've been teaching for a long, long time, and I am absolutely convinced uh, just by seeing the evidence that students who have great math notes generally have great math grades, okay? And the reverse is true. Uh, those that don't have good notes do not have uh, good grades. So you need to be taking a strong, accurate, very, you know, meticulous, comprehensive math notes. Now, if you um, uh, have not yet, you know, developed this skill, you need to start working on it. I have a couple of uh, videos uh, in my channel, okay, on note-taking that could help you get going on it. But in the meantime, you need something to study from. So I offer some notes. I'm going to leave a link to those in the description of this video. Those would include pre-algebra, uh, algebra 1, uh, geometry, and algebra 2, and trigonometry. So you can go ahead and check those out if you like. Now let's get into this tangent uh, function. So uh, the tangent function is uh, part of the basic trigonometric ratios. And let's go down here and talk about those in a, uh, a second. So basically you learn three basic ratios when you start studying trigonometry. You learn the tangent, the sine, and the cosine, okay? And we call these trigonometric ratios and they are um, specifically related to right angle triangles, okay, right angle triangles. This is very, very important. Now, the advantage of using uh, these ratios, okay, is really, really uh, huge, okay? Trigonometry is very powerful. So let's give a little example here, and I've done another video on this, but let's say I had some sort of tree, okay, over here like this, and I wanted to know how tall this tree was. Well, you know, if this tree is a couple hundred feet tall, I'm not going to climb up on top of the tree and then drop a tape measure down to the ground, right? That would be a little ridiculous, but we need to be able to measure how tall this tree is. Well, if I was able to walk back from the tree, let's say 300 feet, and then somehow get the angle from that point up to the top of the tree, and whatever angle that is, let's say that angle was 23 degrees, okay? If I knew from this point on the ground, looking up to the top of that tree was 23 degrees, and that angle, I took that measurement 300 uh, feet away from the base of this tree, assuming this tree was pretty much straight up and down, i.e. perpendicular to the ground, I could find the height of the tree, I could find this distance, etc. You just can't do that any other way using, uh, let's say, the Pythagorean theorem. So, um, you know, trigonometry is very powerful and there's just no substitute to solving particular problems um, uh, involving angles and sides of triangles, okay? So uh, what we're going to be talking about, obviously, is the tangent function. Now, I am going to be producing, uh, shortly thereafter when I post this video on this tangent function, um, 
uh, a video on the sine and the cosine. This is all pretty easy stuff. Do not be afraid. Don't have this face. A lot of people have, oh my gosh, trigonometry, it's scary. It's good. Listen, this is not math Halloween. Believe me, it's not that bad. You just need to kind of get a sense of what's involved. All right, let's go ahead and demonstrate the value of the tangent function on this particular problem. So I already worked out the problem so we can uh, kind of save ourselves a little bit of time. But uh, we're going to be using the tangent, okay, the tangent trigonometric ratio, okay, or the tangent function to solve for this angle. So you can see I have a right triangle here. It has a size of 3, 4, and 5, okay. Now, uh, here, I need you to kind of re remember something, okay? Looking at this angle in its particular, its, its, uh, its current location is down here in the bottom left-hand corner, right? So we need to go ahead and assign some names to the sides of this triangle, some special names to it. So let's look at this angle, and let's look away from the angle, and let's talk about this, uh, this side of the triangle this way, okay? We're going to call this the opposite side, okay, the opposite side. So we'll put a little O there, okay? Now the side that's next to the angle, so here's my little angle, this side right there, okay? We're going to call that guy the adjacent side, the adjacent side, okay? And the longest side of the triangle is always this side here. It's always opposite of the right uh, angle, but you can just kind of look at it, right? Uh, and say, oh yeah, this is definitely the longest side. We're going to call that the hypotenuse or H. Okay, so we have three specific um, letters here: H, O, and A. And this is going to be the case for um, any triangle when we're talking about either uh, tangent, sine, or cosine. Okay. Now, let's go back up here. I just want to show you something real quick. Uh, yeah, let's get rid of this scary guy. All right, so let's let's move the angle here. Well, I just said, okay, this is the opposite for this angle in this corner, and this is the adjacent. Oh, boy, that's a terrible A. That's the adjacent, and this is the hypotenuse, right? So that would be the case. But let's suppose the angle that I was uh, looking uh, to solve for is up in this corner now, okay? Hmm, how does that change things? Well, our opposite and our adjacent uh, kind of move, right? So what's the opposite of this angle? This now is the opposite. What's the adjacent? This is the adjacent. And then this longest leg will always be the hypotenuse. So your opposite and adjacent and hypotenuse, well, the hypotenuse is always the longest in the triangle, but your adjacent and hypotenuse will depend upon where the angle is uh, that you're looking to solve for, okay? All right. So let's go back to our nice problem here. And uh, so we're talking about tangent, okay? So tangent function. So there's a little saying, okay, called, uh, it goes like this, so ka toa, all right? So ka toa, maybe you've heard of this little phrase before, but uh, this is how you remember basic trigonometry, okay? So S stands for the sine, okay? And that's going to involve the opposite and, and the hypotenuse. C stands for the cosine. That's going to involve the adjacent and the hypotenuse. And then the tangent is going to involve the opposite and the adjacent. So you just got to remember this little phrase here, so ka toa, right? And this has been taught for decades and decades and decades. I mean, this is just like, you know, your great-grandparents uh, learned about so ka toa, okay? So, uh, so here, with the tangent, all right? So if you forget this, and a lot of students forget this, just remember tangent is toa, all right? So the toa, the, t uh, the tangent is going to involve the opposite and the adjacent, and it's going to be the opposite over the adjacent, okay? That's how we write this. This is this is a, a fraction, okay? This is the adjacent over the hypotenuse, opposite over the hypotenuse, opposite over the adjacent. So the tangent is the opposite over the adjacent, okay? All right, so knowing that, let's go back to our lovely triangle. And let's go ahead and uh, obviously identify, here's the angle, okay? And we said, okay, what's the opposite of this? Uh, 
angle? Well, that would be three. Okay, so remember, I got to do the opposite over the adjacent. So I'm going to plug in three for my opposite. And then what is the adjacent uh, side of this angle? It's four. Okay, so I plug that in right there. So three divided by four is the decimal 0.75. Okay, all right. So now here is um, kind of like where we need a calculator, okay? There's two things that we need. You can either, um, if you have a, an old trigonometry book, they had like tables in the back of the book, you can look this up. And basically we can look up, hey, what angle, what angle has uh, the, uh, a tangent of 0.75? So you just look up in a little table, da, 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 and it would tell you that angle in degrees, okay? but. Uh, luckily for us, we have these wonderful little devices called calculators, and at a minimum, you would need a scientific calculator. You'll know if you have the right kind of calculator if you have these little buttons on it. Okay. All right. So now, generally speaking, what you have to do, the sine, tangent, cosine, this is like a scientific calculator. You hit your second button, your second function button, and you're looking for this. It's usually on the actual face of the uh, uh, the calculator, not on the button. You're looking for this little guy with the tangent with a little negative one up here, okay? So that's the arc tangent. And I don't want to go too deep into trigonometry. It's not really necessary. But this is what you need to get, not the tangent button. It's going to be located on the tangent button. It's going to be like here's the tangent button and then on the actual face, uh, not on the button, but on the face of the calculator, you'll have this little guy. We need this guy, okay? So you need to use that second function to get this guy right there, okay? All right, so knowing that, okay, what this tells us is, hey, I'm gonna tell you the angle, this right here is gonna say, hey, I'm gonna tell you the angle uh, that has a tangent of 0.75, okay? So this angle has a tangent, all right? Its tangent is equal to 0.75. So this, when you plug this into the calculator, Okay, you got to make sure you're in degree mode, by the way, degree mode. A lot of students mess up. There's other modes in your calculator, um, radian mode, etc. And you could, you will get the wrong answer. So make sure you're in degree mode. Okay, so when we plug this in, tangent of uh, arc tangent, okay, uh, 0.75, you hit enter and you get a decimal. It says 36.86 and there's some other stuff here. I'm not actually sure. I wrote this down. I can't remember, but... It's about 36.86 degrees. That is the angle, okay? It's as simple as that, all right? So uh, here, we obviously have the lengths of this right triangle, but we don't have the degrees. The only thing we know about this triangle is this corner here is 90 degrees, but we don't have any idea what the, these degrees are in this particular triangle. Well, of course, once we have this uh, degree here, we know that the sum of the angles in a, uh, a triangle is 180 degrees, so we could find this other angle. But you need uh, tr basic uh, trigonometry in order to solve these problems, okay? So this is a basic introduction to right angle trigonometry and specifically the tangent function. And like I said, we're going to do the same triangle, but we're going to go ahead and just practice with the sine and the cosine. So if you found this uh, video entertaining or useful or educational, please consider smashing that like button and hopefully you'll uh, choose to become a subscriber. Now, um, I always like to leave uh, my videos uh, with this, you know, watching how to do math is one thing, but that's not really going to be the, the trick for you to retain this. You've got to practice, practice, practice. Okay. So, uh, you know, if you need additional help, you know, two uh, suggestions. One, uh, I have hundreds and hundreds of videos on my channel that can help you out in various levels of mathematics. They're there for you. I've been building these videos over literally uh, 10 plus years, okay? And I'm uh, posting new stuff all the time, but my passion is to teach you mathematics. But if you want my best work in a more formal, structured, you know, way that's really, you know, comprehensive to whatever you're studying, whatever course you're studying, then you want to check out my math help program. Again, you can find the link to all this stuff in the description of this video. But uh, with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.